somebody took poison or you want to know how much poison can one spoon of charcoal absorb i want to know how much poison can one spoon of charcoal absorb for that you need to quantify the adsorption process adsorption may take place in two ways mono layer multi layer so mono layer is explained by two persons friendlich and langmuir okay friendlich and langmuir what friendlich says is friendlich says is this is called x by m okay i took one particle of uh, charcoal and that your some particles are some substance of your uh, poison is adsorbed i don't know how much adsorbed it's adsorbed this is called x by m x is this one amount of gas adsorbed or poison adsorbed x means amount of poison adsorbed per unit mass of adsorbent i am saying unit mass because i want to know for one spoon unit mass for known thing how much unknown is adsorbed that what i want to quantify so this will be m this will be x together we call it as y remember yesterday i didn't told you this remember this one, okay x by m is called as y what is y y is equal to amount of gas adsorbed per unit mass of adsorbent amount of gas adsorbed per unit mass of adsorbent is called y so he says that is directly proportional to pressure remove the proportionality constant keep some constant two constants draw a graph it will be like this okay now to make it straight we'll apply log listen okay the problem here is listen i can get only this information how much gas is adsorbed per unit mass what actually i want is what the information given by friendlich is this information what actually i want is this information for that langmuir came into picture so he created some equation and he told that from this equation you can get this information so i want this information friend remember this gpat question friendlich this diagrams nowhere in the textbook it is given okay remember this diagrams friendlich will say how much gas is adsorbed per unit mass of adsorbent langmuir says after forming mono layer see if i give charcoal the charcoal fully adsorb the poison i want to know the capacity of charcoal after full adsorption how much poison can it withhold with from it okay that what i want so for that we need to go for langmuir adsorption isotherm so we'll see that this is your friendlich we'll go for langmuir adsorption isotherm there is some assumptions okay listen langmuir adsorption isotherm first he made some assumptions he made some assumptions first assumption is every adsorbing species has limited number of adsorption sites okay so adsorbing sites are fixed what i mean to say is listen 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so this adsorbent has 10 sites of adsorption that's all every adsorbent has fixed number of sites for adsorption okay every adsorbent has fixed number of sites okay every uh, adsorbing species has fixed number of sites of adsorption one assumption two at maximum adsorption at 
maximum adsorption the layer formed is mono layer at maximum adsorption your adsorbing species is saturated after saturation the layer formed is mono layer i already told you friendly chan langmuir explain only mono layer so this is the second adsorption third adsorption okay now you tell me rate of adsorption is directly proportional to sites occupied or unoccupied okay assume that adsorption is a process of you people coming and sitting you are standing out you are coming and sitting in the chairs this is your site of adsorption there are limited chairs so we have limited chairs after every person sitting in the chair he will only one person can sit mono layer no two people will sit in the chair it's only one person second is rate of adsorption so you people are standing outside this class is empty okay initially your rate coming and sitting in the chair is directly proportional to number of chairs empty or occupied this you should understand otherwise the derivation will not okay adsorption means you people coming and sitting to come and sit chair should be empty or occupied and uh, then rate of adsorption is directly proportional to number of sides i use the word unoccupied rate of adsorption is directly proportional to don't write don't write listen listen to me finally you can take screenshot from or you can say snap from your phone okay don't write listen so rate of adsorption is directly proportional to number of sites unoccupied what about desorption going out desorption occupied so these are the four assumptions made by your langmuir he made four assumption assumption 1 there are fixed number of sites of adsorption assumption 2 at maximum at saturation level the layer of gas molecule is mono molecular layer each round is one molecule mono molecular layer or you can say mono layer okay mono layer second rate of adsorption is directly proportional to number of sites unoccupied rate of desorption desorption is directly proportional to number of sites occupied next assume theta as fraction of sites occupied fraction i am using the word fraction assume theta as fraction of sites unoccupied in any fraction what is the maximum number you get okay how many girls divided by total number of students let's say maximum in a college girls are there what is the number you get how much it didn't got listen you need to fraction means what something divided by total something divided by total i want to know what is the fraction of girls in a college for that how many girls are there divided by total students in a college total are girls so what is the fraction now that's all maximum value for any fraction is 1 remember this without this knowledge you can't derive this maximum knowledge one is total occupied total fraction occupied well one is a total fraction occupied theta is fraction occupied one is total how much is remaining empty no good one minus theta is un occupied please remember this you are going to struck while deriving at this position only okay so 
theta is fraction of sides occupied, 1 is maximum and 1 minus theta is fraction, it is also a fraction, fraction unoccupied, fraction of sides unoccupied, okay. Now, theta is equal to, listen, theta is equal to y by ym. Can anybody draw a diagram for this? What is y already told? Check that. What is y? Ah, what is x by n? Diagram is there, see? Ah, half I feel. What is ym? Full. This is y. M means monolayer. How much divided by total? That what is called fraction. How much divided by total? See here, we got the term total. I told you to quantify adsorption, I should know. For a unit mass, how much total of poison it can adsorb? I want to know total. So, we got the term total here. That is the reason we are going for Langmore adsorption. You can ask me doubt, sir, already we derived we quantified in Friendlich why you are going for Langmore. This is what. Friendlich is not saying about how much total adsorb. He only say how much adsorb. I want to know fraction adsorb or total adsorb. For that we need to go for Langmore. Okay. So, these are the things. Now, we will go for derivation. Now, the derivation will start. This is only the preliminary one. Okay. Now, rate of adsorption R1 is directly proportional to what? Anna, who is unoccupied here? Ah, very good, very good. 1 minus theta. Now, for the adsorption process to happen, if it is gas, I should increase pressure. So, it is also directly proportional to pressure. Why I am writing pressure? Remember this. Please carefully follow me. No need of again reading this. At one shot, you will learn it. Okay. So, rate of adsorption is number of sites unoccupied that is your 1 minus theta and pressure because you increase the pressure then only there will be adsorption. What I mean to say is I kept charcoal here. Whatever the gas molecules near to the charcoal will adsorb but what about the gas molecule which is present there? For that molecule to come here I need to increase pressure. So, I am writing pressure. Remove the proportionality constant put some constant k1, let us say it is adsorption rate constant, theta p. Next, this option is directly proportional to what? Who is occupied? Theta. 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 Okay. Now, no need of for this option, I do not need to apply pressure, leave the pressure, it will desorb. Okay. For the molecule to get out, you should remove the pressure. So, it is not proportional to pressure. So, remove the proportionality constant, keep some constant, desorption constant. This adsorption constant, this is desorption constant. At equilibrium, at equilibrium, adsorption is equal to desorption. Uh, tell me, what is R1? What is R1? Tell me. K1, 1 minus theta, P is equal to what is R2? K2 theta. Multiply this. K1 P minus K1 theta P is equal to K2 theta. Any problem? No. Okay. If you have any problem here, I will call your max madam. Next. Take theta at one side. Hmm. K1 P is equal to K2 theta, ah, very good, plus K1 theta P. Take theta out. Take the theta out. K1 P is equal to K2 plus K1 P theta. Now, solve the equation for theta. So, theta is equal to K1 P by K1 P. What is theta? Y by 
y m is equal to, see you you need to write here because theta is equal to y by m that you need to include i am not writing that one okay k1 p by k2 plus a1 p see we have two constants here i want to convert that into one i want to convert this two constants into one common constant so what i will do is divide numerator and denominator by k2 divide numerator and denominator by k2 so y by ym is equal to k1 by k2 p numerator divided divided by k2 by k2 plus k1 by k2 p divided by k2 can also be split into k2 and this one any problem please max madam okay next what is the common k2 will be got okay so y by ym is equal to k1 by k2 p divided by 1 plus assume that k1 by k2 constant by constant adsorption constant by desorption constant has b assume it has b so y by ym is equal to hmm, bp by 1 plus okay i will write here because k1 by k2 is equal to b so you are assuming k1 by k2 as b here you will get confused this way student will get confused next step is very difficult for that remember we are plotting the graph between p by y and p we are going to plot the graph between p by y and p accordingly i need to get this is x this is y and uh, slope and uh, intercept accordingly i should get so i should get x as p so we'll see so what we'll do is reverse it because y is below so reverse the equation uh, inverse the equation what you'll get y m by y is equal to bp by bp see if i take p here i will get p by y take p here send y m there hmm. p by y is equal to 1 plus bp by y m b p gone there now y m b split two sides hmm. split it y is equal to 1 by y m b plus y m b b b cancel what is the remaining equation p by y is equal to 1 by y m b plus p by langmuir equation not proved wait i said x axis is what p beside x who will be there m who is m 1 by y m so if i draw the graph slope will be 1 by y m what is the intercept 1 by y m b okay sir now tell me how this langmuir is advanced to your friendly yeah from the slope can i find out y m value i said you i want to know what is the maximum poison of 1 gram of substance can adsorb so ym means what after saturation how much it is adsorbed so i can calculate what is the value of ym see 1 by ym is equal to slope ym is equal to 1 by slope you will get ym what is slope y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 next i can also find the if i find ym value substitute ym value here i can find the value of b now tell me what it indicates what b indicates if b is more if b is more your adsorbing species is good or not good if a if a person has consumed poison i should give a adsorbent of b value more or less 
ไม่เบดเวดอ่ะโอเคเดี๋ยว what how how you are saying it will absorb more poison ah very good b is a fraction of k1 and k2 to b value to increase you should increase k1 and decrease k2 means what absorption is increased so depending on the b value also you can decide constant value which type of absorb absorbing species are absorbent should be used okay so this is your langmuir absorption isotherm right now that's all take photo okay no problem